Hey guys, welcome to Modern JavaScript from the Beginning. This is not a course on frameworks or libraries or how to use jQuery. This is a course on learning and building things with pure modern JavaScript. So who is this course for? It's for absolutely everyone. We're starting from absolute scratch. The first section is all about fundamentals like data types, arrays, loops, functions, all the basics that you need to know and explained in a way that doesn't suggest that you know anything about programming. Now, just because the first section is geared towards beginners doesn't mean that this is a beginner's course. From there, we're going to learn all about the DOM, how to manipulate interfaces, events, asynchronous JavaScript with Ajax and Fetch, promises, and other new features. We're going to learn about object-oriented programming, both ES5 prototypes and ES2015 classes. We'll also learn about things like regular expressions, JavaScript patterns, and much more. Now, I carefully formatted this course in a way that it is modular. It has modular learning sections where we really dig into the code and, and use the console for output to learn specific aspects of the language. But I also included about 10 different projects that range in size that allow you to build stuff based on what you've learned. So some are very small mini projects, others take up to 12 lectures. The last project will actually be an entire front end to a REST API using no framework whatsoever. In fact, we'll, we'll even build a custom HTTP library that will build using the Fetch API along with async and await. So why take this course? Well, first of all, you're going to learn modern JavaScript from scratch. And I didn't format this like many other courses out there where it's all older ES5 code and then a little sprinkle of ES6 at the end. You're going to learn the core fundamentals that have been around forever along with the new features. All modern browsers now support 95% of ES2015, or also called ES6. So things like let and const, arrow functions, template literals, we're going to utilize these features throughout the course. And then when we do get to something that the browser doesn't support, such as ES2015 modules, I'm going to show you how to compile your code with Webpack and Babel down to something that all browsers can run. Okay, another reason is because frameworks have basically taken over. People are learning frameworks before the actual language. This course will teach you how to build things without React or Angular, and at the same time give you more skills to be able to understand how those frameworks operate. Okay, you're also going to learn your way around the DOM without having to use jQuery. There's almost no need for jQuery anymore. Vanilla JavaScript is more than capable of manipulating the DOM. You'll also learn about structuring and design patterns. So here's a list of some of the major topics that we'll cover in this course. For absolute beginners, we have language fundamentals. Then we'll move to DOM manipulation and events with no jQuery, ES5 and ES6 object-oriented programming, asynchronous JavaScript with Ajax and callbacks, as well as newer standards like fetch, promises, and async await. Things like error handling, regular expressions, local and session storage, uh, arrow functions, maps and sets, popular JavaScript patterns, and a bunch of projects to go with all of it. So some of the included projects will include a task list with DOM manipulation, uh, as well as local storage to persist the data, a loan calculator, a number guessing game, an object-oriented application on creating book lists. Uh, we'll even build a custom HTTP library, first with Ajax and callbacks, and then we'll move on to fetch promises and async await. Um, and then we'll move on to building API projects like the GitHub Finder using the GitHub API, a weather app using the Weather Underground API. We'll build a pretty large uh, project using the module pattern, which will track calories. And then we'll build a complete front end to a REST API with uh, ES6 modules using Webpack and Babel. And then along the way, we'll have some mini projects like a Chuck Norris joke generator to look at Ajax and how that works and, and external APIs, a profile scroller to give you an example of how to use ES6 iterators. And then we'll build a little state pattern interface where we can switch from, uh, we'll create a bootstrap theme and we can switch pages based on the, the state. All right, so these are some of the things that we'll learn throughout the course. 
And these other things that listed here are things that we're not going to completely focus on and I'm going to fully explain, but these are skills you may pick up. So more HTML and CSS. We're going to use frameworks like Bootstrap 4, uh, Materialize CSS, Skeleton CSS. You're going to learn more about HTTP requests, get requests, post, put, delete. Uh, REST APIs. We're going to be using something called JSON server on the last project where we can create a fake REST API for our front end and we'll build the front end using ES 2015 modules. So we'll be using Webpack and Babel to compile uh, newer features of JavaScript down to ES5. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoy this course, whether you're brand new to JavaScript and programming in general, or whether you're already in the field and you're looking to sharpen your skills, let's go ahead and get started.